Good evening viewers. There are many landmark clinical trials in ophthalmology and the ERET studies have guided our understanding of the risk factors for progression of age-related macular degeneration. The purpose of the original ERET study was to study the clinical course and risk factors and evaluate the effects of nutrients on the development and progression of cataract in age-related macular degeneration. It was conducted by the National Eye Institute of the U.S. National Institutes of Health, Bethesda, Maryland. The randomized control trial enrolled 4,757 participants aged 55 to 80 years old with cataract, uh, AMD or both from multiple centers across the USA. All participants were placed in one of four groups based on the nature of Drusen and the presence or absence of advanced AMD. The lesions that determined the categories were small Drusen, less than 63 microns, intermediate drusen 63 to 124 microns, large drusen greater than or equal to 124 microns, RPE abnormalities, geographic atrophy and evidence of choroidal neovascularization. The categories were determined as follows. No AMD or ERLS category 1 was characterized by no or a few small drusen. Early AMD or ERETS category 2 was cat characterized by a combination of multiple small drusen, a few intermediate drusen or mild RPE abnormalities. If RPE abnormalities were present, even absence of drusen placed a participant directly into category 2. Intermediate AMD or ERETS category 3 was cat characterized by any of the following features. Numerous intermediate drusen, at least one large druse, Geographic atrophy not involving the center of the fovea. Advanced AMD or ARS category 4 was characterized by one or more of the following in the absence of other causes in one eye. Geographic atrophy involving the foveal center and evidence of CNV. With regard to cataract, the study found no effect of treatment on the development of lenticular opacity and so we shall consider only the part of the trial pertaining to AMD here. Category 1 participants were considered very low risk for AMD and so it felt uh, it was not necessary to expose them to high zinc doses. Hence, they are not included in the analysis of AMD progression and only data from the 3640 participants in categories 2, 3 and 4 were considered for the AMD trial. The antioxidant formulation that was being tested consisted of vitamin C 500 mg, vitamin E 400 international units and beta carotene 15 mg. The 3640 participants were randomized to receive one of four treatments. Antioxidant formulation with zinc, zinc alone, antioxidant formulation alone and a placebo. The dosage of zinc was 80 mg which was given along with 2 mg of copper. The results were assessed after 5 years. No benefit was found for the study formulation in categories 1 and 2, whereas in categories 3 and 4, treatment with zinc alone or in combination with antioxidants reduced the risk of pro progression to advanced AMD, particularly neovascular AMD. The benefit of risk reduction was much more for the combination of antioxidants with zinc with a 25% reduction of risk to progression to advanced AMD. However, a statistically significant reduction of moderate vision loss occurred only in persons assigned to the combination of antioxidants with zinc. The five-year trial ended in 2001. The cohort was continued to be followed till 2005. For the first two years after the trial ended, the antioxidants were not available, but from 2003, a proportion of participants from all the original four categories started taking antioxidants with zinc. Those in categories 3 and 4 originally assigned to the antioxidant plus zinc groups continued to benefit by the 10th year and only 34% of those participants progressed to advanced AMD compared to 44% of the original placebo group. The benefit was for neovascular AMD and not central geographic atrophy. They also had a reduced risk of both moderate and severe vision loss. This was despite not taking the treatment for two years in the middle. The 10-year follow-up data also provided information on the risk factors that influence these rates of progression. 
Increasing age is associated with neovascular AMD and central geographic atrophy. Female sex and current smoking increase the risk of progression to neovascular AMD. The retinal risk factors included increasing severity of drusen at baseline, the presence of large drusen within one disc diameter of the fovea or the central zone, the presence of bilateral medium drusen, the presence of advanced AMD in the fellow eye and the simultaneous presence of large drusen and AMD RP abnormalities. The National Eye Institute launched ARIS II in 2006, the primary aim of which was to evaluate the effect of dietary xanthophils, that is, lutein and zeaxanthin, with and without omega-3 fatty acids on progression to advanced AMD. For the ARIS II study, the National Eye Institute enrolled 4,203 participants in the age group of 55 to 80. Since no benefit was found from the orig original ARIS study for uh, early AMD, the ARIS II study only enrolled those who had intermediate or advanced AMD, that is, bilateral large drusen or drusen and one eye and advanced AMD in the fellow eye. The participants were randomized to receive one of four study supplements, placebo, lutein with zeaxanthin, docosahexanoic acid with icosapentanoic acid or a combination of the xanthophils with the omega-3 fatty acids. All participants were offered a secondary randomization to one of four variations of the original ARETS formulation, that is, the original formulation without any change with the zinc dose alone reduced without beta carotene and the last with a reduced zinc dose along with absence of beta carotene. Coming to the results, neither the xanthophils nor the omega-3s produced any additional overall effect on the risk of advanced AMD. However, ARIDS2 participants who took lutein and zeaxanthin along with the antioxidants without the beta carotene had an increase in benefit. Arrets to participants who were former smokers took a formula, who took a formulation with beta carotene had a higher incidence of lung cancer. Removing the beta carotene or reducing zinc dosage did not reduce effectiveness of the formulation. Omega 3s and the xanthophils had no effect on the need for cataract surgery. Supplements with the ARETS2 formula decreases the risk for progression to advanced AMD and moderate to severe vision loss in persons of the ARETS categories 3 and 4. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.